Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. That's incredible. <laughs> and concerning for me. <laughs> well, Cheerio burps. Welcome back to Game Grumps. And welcome back to Game Grumps. Aaron just smelled a Cheerio burp of mine from like a cr like you're like 10 feet away from me right yeah. now. That's amazing. <laughs> Not actually ten feet. Yeah, but pretty. Like, f we're farther away than usual because you're not on the couch. You're, yeah, you're our in a couch chair. sucks, and I'm tired of it. So I, we're gonna get a new cat. Well, we're moving soon, um, to an, to another office, um, which I'm sure a lot of people will be sad to hear. I'm sad to hear because I love this office. Yeah. Um, we've outgrown it though. We just needed more space for because we do merch in house. You know, we got three, uh, merch people that do the merch. That's it. It's just three people, so. Go easy on us if we. <laughs> I feel like we've been going, we're doing pretty well. Yeah, they've, like they've been amazing. Stuff out on time and stuff. Um, but uh, so it'll have more space for filming too. So we'll have all new furniture and this grump couch just sucks. Yeah, it, it's it's rough, but it leads to good times. Okay. How sad to be right in front of someone and to not be noticed at all. E he he. You are chosen by the gods, and only that keeps you from turning into a spirit, or worse, into a dark monster when you enter twilight. And no one knows what you have done. You may be doomed to toil in obscurity forever. Thanks, Midna. Yeah, really positive attitude. You're the type to worry about everything, I can tell. But don't fret over Z Princess Zelda. She chose the state of affairs, after all. I'm just like, I'm a dog! Anyway, what's, uh, what's with having to light candles to get the basement? Not very subtle, is it? You know how he takes on like dog properties when he's a dog? He does. Like, what if he took on like a dog's personality a little bit too? Where he's like, I don't worry, I'm a dog! <gasps> Squirrel! <laughs> like, just doesn't give a shit. Yeah, or like, he just forgets what's going on with Mina and just grabs her and he's like, <laughs> and, like just <laughs> sh shakes his head around. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now, my lonely little hero? He. I'm gonna fuck you. Yeah! Aaron, that's. Probably physically impossible at this point. <laughs> he does his best. Not that I don't want it to happen. Yeah, not that, uh, you know, they don't deserve to love each other, like... So you gotta light those candles, boo. Oh, that's right. How do I do that? Did she say how to do it? And I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, or no, you gotta find the, um... Blah. The insects, which I believe show themselves when you light the candles? Uh, the door to the cellar opens. Yes, that happens when all the candles are lit. But I can't, I can't, oh, the stick. There's a stick. There we go. Uh, okay. Look at me, flaming dog, coming through! Barf. Barf. <laughs> Barf. Barf. I love the f- Barf. Yes. Who opened the cellar door? Magic dog! <laughs> Zombie dog! I'm gonna bring the stick with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like any dog, you're like, I'm not fucking leaving the stick behind. It's like, it's a good stick. Minda picks it up, and I'm like, huh? Oh, throw it or? Bigs! Little bigs! Little tasty bigs. If you're a puppy, you gotta eat the boogs. <laughs> you gotta eat the boogs. You can't not eat the boogs. It's like when you go to LA, and you gotta get in and out. When you're a dog, you gotta eat the boogs. <laughs> That's just how being a dog works! It would be weird to be a dog for a day. Every dog has his day, you know. That doesn't make- that's irrelevant to this conversation. Oh, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. If you could be a dog, what kind of dog would you be? Uh... <sighs> how about that? You think about it, I'll read some dialogue. Okay. How about that? Looks like you can climb the scaffolding. What's folding? <laughs> the scaff. Well, shit. <laughs> the scaff is folding. She's like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that ruled. Chill. The gravy ard. <laughs> the gravy ard. Yeah, I think I've called it that before <laughs> in a Zelda game. Dude, that's where you, that's, you gotta bring your meatloaf there. Oh. Don't forget your mashed taters. Quickly to the gravy ard. Um, are these f more things to light on fire? I think so, yes. On fur. On fur. Would you help me light my fur? Hmm. That was a door song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, 
um, because you made me think of, would you help me plant my corn? Yeah. So I started thinking of old cartoons. Uh, I'm still on my quest with Ash to watch every animated Disney movie. Yeah. Um, and in order. And, uh, we just finished, uh, Make Mine Music. Make Mine Music. Oh, that was like the third or fourth movie or something? It's, it's, it's like eighth, maybe? Um, but it's early. It's definitely still yeah. in the forties. Um, but yeah, it's little vignettes and stuff. But it starts with, um, the two swans at the Blue Bayou, and I'm like, Oh, the Blue Bayou, that's why the restaurant's called that! Hell so yeah. yeah, like, I- Every- every Disney thing that I watch, I now understand Disneyland more. Which is fun. Hell yeah. But the fucking shit with Willy the Whale? The whale that wants to sing at the Met? Dude, I don't even remember that. Alright. You know what? I'm just gonna say it because it's- I mean, it's- Spoilers yeah, for a movie from the 40s. Spoilers. 80-year-old spoilers. Earmuff it for the next 10 seconds. If you don't want to know the spoilers. Uh, Willy the Whale, he's like this whale that sings opera, and he, he just wants to sing and be happy, and he, like, he imagines this whole situation where he's singing at the Metropolitan Museum, or, or the Met, rather, and, um... And the, the, they fucking harpoon him and he dies! And that's the cartoon! Good. Dude! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, she's crying, I'm crying, I'm like, what the- what's happening? <laughs> Why would they do this to us? Like, fucking early Disney, man. They- they really- Hey, that's just brutal, man. You gotta fucking- Yeah. Gotta scare those kids into- you know what? There's less whalers in the world. Yeah, that- that is true, actually. That may have something more to do with the fact that you don't need whale- Blubber for anything anymore that you can't get synthetically, but that's fine. Yeah, but they would. You know they would. <laughs> if it weren't for Disney, if it weren't for the Big D. I'm still reading Moby Dick, by the way. What really? Um, it's been like fucking four years. I, t two years. It's been two years, and I'm 150 pages in. <laughs> it is the slowest, but it's and it's fabulous. It's just. Yeah, I can tell by the pace at which you're reading it. It's, it's just frantic pace. Yeah, well, I'm trying to make it last. I gotta know what happens next! <laughs> three months from now. <laughs> it's... <laughs> like, I need to take breaks from it. I've read, like, five or six other books, like, in the meantime, you know? I'll just pick up something else and then, like, enjoy that more, because it... I mean, there are parts of Moby Dick that truly feel like homework. I'm just like, oh my god, I have to concentrate, because it's fantastic. This guy's sp yeah, it really is. That's the conundrum. It's boring and amazing at the same time. I'm sorry, I'm teasing you. There's tons of books that I'm that took a long time to read. Yeah, but I don't read men much fiction. No. No, I read like. Oh, there's a new thing about said the book I'm reading right now is about psychogeography. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I don't know what that means exactly. It's like how spaces affect your your mind. Cool. Like, you know, you go out into an open field, it feels different than, like, being in a closed-off room. Like, shit like that. Yes. It's the study of that. Any cool conclusions? <sighs> Not so much. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, there is, um, the one thing that's, like, so obvious is, like, they fill, they fill tables at, um, at restaurants. Uh, booths first, because people like to be against walls, because it's like a hunter instinct. Yes. You don't want to be, like, ambushed. Yes. It's also a bar fight instinct. Yeah. Um, so, like, that's, like, literally, if you walk into a restaurant that's, like, half full, it'll only be the booths. Hmm. Um, and then they'll start filling the high tops later. That's interesting. Yeah. Makes sense to me. Probably psychologically it looks fuller, too. Uh, not really. No? Is it- is it the opposite? I mean... Maybe I'm just speaking from personal experience. And not, like, from what the book's saying. Right. the book didn't say anything about that, so... But anyway... Yeah, it's interesting. It talks about, like, smart homes and, like, the difference in, like, what, what it means to, like, give up your humanity and shit. Hmm. Because if, like, the home does everything for you, then it's like, what are you... What's your function? What's even the point, you know? Conjunction, junction, what's your function?
Taking in sperm and spitting out babies. <laughs> oh, hey, you. I might be confusing that with a family guy thing. It's fine. Uh, I'm gonna be here all night, ladies. Uh, and ladies. <laughs> uh, uh, what the fuck what are we trying thing? to do here? I'm trying to find all these damn bugs. I, oh. This, this town is more confusing than the last. Is... Boy, there are many bugs, I guess. Many bugs. Is, is there a bug, um, radar situation happening? A bug radar? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, why did it want me to go outside first? I don't know. There's a, clearly a boog in here. There's a fucking boog right in there! Well, let's, let's, let's hop back down. Well, it said for me to do something out here first. What did it say? I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. Well, you gotta stop hitting the button so fast! Well, because I just wanna get done through it! <laughs> yeah, but... Th this only prolongs the experience. But sometimes, sometimes <laughs> it's just fucking nonsense. The game's just like, duh, and I'm like, cool, thanks. That cool world building. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> I love learning more and more about a Zelda game. It doesn't make fucking cares. Some people, some people like it. I know some people like it. It's <laughs> fine. I like Chrono Trigger. Oh, I was able to go in here. Chrono Trigger's awesome. What? You've played it? Uh, I've watched you play it. What? When? Didn't you do it in like a solo Grumps playthrough? You watched that? Yeah, of course I watched that. I support my bro. Whoa. <laughs> I'm replaying it at home right now, and I fucking- it's like that- that- You know how people are like, That was my childhood. That was my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am that person. I just did an it's impression 100%. of myself. It's 100%. Michelle, I'm doing an impression of you. <laughs> so yeah, that was my- that was 100% my childhood. It was fucking Chrono Trigger. I love Chrono Trigger. It means everything to me. And replaying it. And like rediscovering how fucking good it is. Yeah, I'm just like, ugh, I fucking it's love like this shit. No one better at you. What is? Why is it vibrating? Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Guess that works. Cool. But it's so brilliant. It's so beautiful. It's like the story. The characters are so cute, and it's just fucking great, man. It's just fucking great. Hey, don't think for- oh, God, Aaron! <laughs> Sorry, what do you want? Let me read that shit! If you don't help the spirit, we won't have a chance of finding that fused shadow. This is really useful. Hey, don't think for a second that I care about your world of light. I don't- Okay, cool. See? Great world building. Well, that was an example of when it was not helpful, but... <laughs> there have been plenty of examples where we'll just wander around and clearly- After she clearly stated what we needed to do. Yeah, well... Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Cool. And that's... Yeah. yeah! I'm just- I'm glad we did it. Well, I'm glad that you're glad. Good! And I'm we're glad. all glad for... Flammable. Flam oh. Oh. With all the fire. <laughs> Where can I find the fire? Where the heck is the fire? This is crazy. Well, I can't find the fire. We didn't start it. It's always been turning since the world's been turning. Oh, this there we go. Nice. Where's the boog? Boog! Ah! <laughs> Got the boog. Oh my gosh. Hell yeah. It'd be- it'd be cool if there were about four or less of these things. Of the boogs? Yeah. Yeah, man. They really make you go out of your way for each one. Mm. But it's <laughs> I don't mind. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm if just I, trying to maintain a positive attitude. If I could only do more. What is oh. this? Oh no, then I'm Okay, so I need to go up there and then on the roof and then go around, I guess. Cool. So here we go. Dun 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 dun. dun. Did you watch Aladdin yet? Uh no, we're going in order. In what? order? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna take you years to get to Aladdin! Yeah, it's gonna be a while. Aladdin! <laughs> Not so fast, Jafar! That's all I remember. <laughs> Not so fast, Jafar! Yeah. Boo! I know I saw it as a- uh, uh, as a kid. As a youngling? Yeah. He was killing <laughs> younglings. Thank God I wasn't killed. <laughs> killing. Dog legs. 
<laughs> mm. See, I, I hear the rumor that he's laughing during that line when he when you and McGregor reads that line in Star Wars. Right. So that's why he covers his mouth. But I it's like I can't imagine you and McGregor to be like that unprofessional. No, I don't think so. I mean, unless maybe someone was making him laugh at something else, you know, a minute beforehand. That that you can always see that. Oh. Um Is that normal? What'd you do? Oh, sorry, but it's romantic as it says I'm not gonna stay here with you. I'm getting out. Peace. Oh, okay. Fucking asshole. Well, I'll see you. Thank you, Midnight. I'm fucking Eddie. I'm fucking Eddie. Wait, should I have killed the Boog while I was in there? I'm sure it'll give you another chance. Well, I didn't start the fire. It was always burning. Since the world's been turning? See, there's your little... There's your little light balls. Oh, three little Boogs. All dead. Just the way we like them. Hmm. I don't suppose there's any nicer way to hunt these things, huh? Well, you had to sacrifice someone's house to find tears of light, but that's how the cookie crumbles, right? Damn. <laughs> Savage. Alright, next time on Game Grub. Savage AF. Oh, yes. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, friends. G goodbye. Compatriots. Lavas. Lavas. <laughs> I thought you said lavas for a second. Yeah, I, I, maybe I did.